Right, Anonymous here. I wanted to talk to you about something that's kind of come up a couple of times, um, and that has to do with grip and the wrist. Um, I think a lot, of, I hear a lot of people talking about how they need to increase their wrist flexibility. They ask me all kinds of things. How do I increase my wrist flexibility? And I ask them where they're limited in that flexibility, and they're talking about the organs. And I try to coach them a little bit, saying that you really shouldn't use much of the wrist at all, um, as far as a lot of range of motion, <clears throat> especially in the orbits. And I think the problem comes in is there's a common mistake that a lot of people make when they're doing the orbit to the outside here. <clears throat> now, on one hand, some people advocate letting go of the hilt and letting it roll like this. Now, that does produce the, the required effect. Unfortunately, you're essentially putting your weapon in free fall. So it's not exactly a combat-worthy technique or habit to get into. We don't necessarily want to do that all the time. We can, however, let go of the hilt just a little bit. Like this. We keep contact with the fingers on the hilt at all times. <clears throat> And what happens a lot to a lot of people is they feel like they're now limited because they can't get this to go around this way without letting go of the hand, right? <clears throat> so, they think they need to bend the wrist back like this. Now, there really isn't a whole lot of use in sword play for this position here, right? It's not a very good biomechanical position because the hilt is off-center from the line of force of your forearm, so you're going to be putting a lot of force right into that wrist, and all of that's going to get there, which is going to cause it to hurt. Um, this way, I don't think anybody really feels too strongly about it. Um, I've never heard anybody say they need to increase the wrist this way. However, I do see people stretching the wrists like this a whole lot should do. But, <clears throat> so there's a couple of issues here with uh, the use of the wrist in sword play. Um, if we're standing here like this, obviously our wrist has to move to accommodate guards, and we have to have the appropriate flexibility for that, range of motion for that. I don't hear that complaint. What I get is here. And so let's go through this real quick real slow. As I go back through here, I don't let go of the hilt. What I do do is I turn my hand this way. Okay, So as you see, that brings my arm right underneath the blade. Then I let go and straighten up the, the arm. I am only let go about that much. So at any moment, I can hold the, the saber nice and tight, right? <clears throat> and here too. Also, look at the wrist. Okay, very natural position. Okay. Then, as I come around here, I have to use my arm and go here. Now, I don't know if you can see that. That's how much flex I have in the wrist at that time. Looks a lot more because this. Okay. But then I just bring it over to the top and over there. And I have demonstrated this before. I don't have a brace on me. But I can brace up my, my wrist so that I have very little range of motion and still be able to do all of the orbits and, and all of that kind of thing. So as you're going through, we want to be able to rotate the wrist like this. Okay. So that there is a rotation happening with the entire arm this way. Okay, so as I go like this, you see my whole arm has to move to accommodate that. I don't want it all here. Now, at times you can see it, it seems to be here, like in shins and all that kind of thing. But in order for that to work, you have to have this nice and strong and engaged so that this is behind it. We never have everything loose and then just using the wrist. 
we're always going to start from, from the torso and move outward. So if we want the arm really relaxed, you move it from the shoulder, right? If you want this really relaxed, we move it from the elbow. And if we want the hand really relaxed, we can move it from the wrist. But that requires all of this to be solid, right? <clears throat> like this. And that doesn't take a whole lot of flexibility. So, <clears throat> just to uh, sum up there, <clears throat> we've got a grip which should be comfortable. Don't choke up on it. You should be able to let go of it a little bit, okay, and let it fall. But don't actually let go of it. If I do a nice slow orbit like this, that's one thing. So you see the wrist kind of bends in the opposite direction than most people think. So there's a little tip for you. Um, I'll probably put out another video talking about a little bit of wrist exercises and stuff like that. Um, until then, have a good day. Happy Sabering.